so hi guys today uh, in in previous lecture you see the how to register the context property and after that i'll we made it one lecture uh, of how to register the class as a qml register type so you can create a multiple object in qml type today i'm talking about a uh, uh, different way to register the c++ class which is uh, you can use the only in the QML side, you cannot use in C++ side because we cannot, uh, we are not created any object of that class. So we only use in the QML side. So it is, is called the singleton provider. Singleton provider means QML register uh, type singleton uh, provider. So where we provide the singleton means the singleton is the design pattern where we use only create the single object. Uh, in future, we request. Uh, another object uh, we create another object and we create that object and after that we take the property of that uh, object or the previously object so so only the single object are running in that class okay so let's see how to do this first we create one project uh, so i choose the name uh, singleton provider okay so this is the project name i select the kit here uh this key for this operating system and now this is we created the project so what we need to first we need to do just uh, uh create one class and uh, write some code of that so we create one class so here we put some like a single turn okay single turn class okay so this is the class uh, use here okay so what we need to do first we need to use one macro here so this macro q underscore disable copy okay so disable copy uh, where i provide the class name here so this is will work now what we need to uh, just include uh, one header file which are needed which is uh, the QML JS engine. This one QML engine. Okay, so which is I have added that file now. Let's include QJSON object. Okay, so we added the header file. Now I'm creating the QJSON provider. So we add a static member. So, uh, sorry. Singleton provider, so we made as a statics we, without object, we can access that uh, method uh, to any of the class. Okay, so static Q object, uh, Q object. So this is the Q object here. I'm like uh, setting the pointer QML uh, instance instance. Okay. And now here it will take uh, two parameter Q QML engine. So this one, uh, now I'm adding uh, this as an engine. And second one, uh, we can add here QJS engine. So QJS engine, so here I use a script and also like engine. Basically, QJS and convert to the JavaScript uh, to of C++ or MOP file, so we implement. And now I'm here. What we need to do? Like I'm creating uh, an object of that. So what we are adding? Like uh, static. Okay. So class type of uh, that. Uh, uh, what we said object. Okay. So I'm created this. Now what we need to do here? Like I'm providing uh, the here also we provide here and here i'm assigning the null null ptr to this okay so what we need to do here uh, now first we check if this equal to equal to null ptr okay null ptr then what we need to do return new singleton class object okay otherwise what we need to do an object that 
So no, 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 no. We cannot do object equal to this. Return this. This is called the uh, singleton provider. Okay. Let's see. I don't know it will work or not. So what we use here? Q unused. Use macro. Unused. Unused. Q insert. And Q used. Descriptive. So we made it this class. So what we need to do, this is the singleton provider. And now I'm uh, resting that class in here. So what we need to do here, just um, include a QM, QTQML, QTQML. Mm -hmm. This one. Sorry, no need. So QML register, registers, singleton type okay so i'm here making the type of that class what was the class name of my here some class Ooh, no, 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 no. yeah class type so first of all i include the header file of that this one the singleton class so i'm um, providing the type of that class so it will take the four argument as i said so 1.0 sorry 1 comma 0 comma here it take uh, the singleton of that class okay so what do we need to do here get instance so get instance okay right so here what we need to singleton class so what i'm missing here i thought something is missing here so first thing is i'm missing here it will take the uri okay which i provided the major minor number okay i provided this is the type name okay and here the key address one more thing we need to provide here yeah so which is the uh, name we use implement that okay still we got some error ah yeah right so now it will it will work let's check run I think uh, debug mocha class not a signal signal declaration. I'll put uh, the address of that. Uh, no, 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 no. It's also instance provided. So not sure. Not sure. So what we do here now, I think this is going well. So I'm not taking this, I'm just returning the object return name. So what do I take here? New. This is. So I'm not putting this and X set. Okay, so we are not doing this here. Not okay, so we made the simple. Let's see. No a signal declaration. Yeah, sorry about that. We made a mistake. Now it's server work. So how to use this class? Let's see. Uh, first of all, we need to import that file. Like import uh, one point. Oh, okay. So now second time, what we need to do? 
uh, we need to access that property so just i'm uh, meeting with uh, property of that uh, so let's see make one property key property here property okay type the uh, queue string and the name is public slot slots the access space right and the private also there okay so now this is uh, let's generate this property okay i generated that property successfully now i am putting the name a default name uh, when the this object is uh, requested are this yeah, okay qt developer So let's uh, we use this singleton provider. Okay, so here what we need to do? Here we put uh, the title. Okay, me this will work not the title by the name. Name this one. Let's see check if it is working or not. Oh, it's successfully worked now. You can see her the QT name. Okay but you cannot create the object of okay all that like if i'm trying to create something like that okay we put the id something and now again i run so let's see what happened it failed okay look so you cannot create object you can just access that uh, object value and you can also uh, go to the another project and do the, uh, like you create another file and do the same and pass that object to that object so it will work other because you cannot modify that you can change the name like uh, on button uh, here i'm adding the buttons so we just need to import the control uh, for using the button so i'm using the button now i'm putting the button in center anchor dot center parent on click so what i need to do i'm changing the name of that object. okay so name uh qt the developer okay qt developer and then we put the name change name change, change name okay so let's see what happening here it will run now i'm putting the change look at the qt developer so you can modify and read the value but you can't access the c plus plus uh like you can mod can't modify from the C side because there is no object. We are not created any object. We just included the header files and I'm here. What we are doing here, just provide the singleton provider. We are not using the object. You cannot create that object. So this is the singleton provider. So in next lecture, uh, we will see what the difference of land of in all of them, like uh, QML context property, QML register type, QML singleton provider type, and next lecture also uh i teach you there how to register the qml file dot qml file in c plus plus site and after that you just include the header file no need to include the directory or individual file you just include uh the header file of that and you can use the component of the qml okay so thank you guys see you in like next lecture okay